We experience this phenomenon every day in our lives. Progressively, each day, this gets worse. Let's talk about global warming. Vast amounts of carbon dioxide, or CO2, are released into the atmosphere. To be more specific, we output an average of 30 gigatons of CO2 into the environment every year. This, however, pales in comparison to the 750 gigatons of CO2 produced via natural processes, stated by the fourth assessment report on climate change by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This gives Earth around 780 gigatons of CO2 to deal with. But how was Earth able to sustain these 750 gigatons of CO2 each year? Turns out that Earth has its own natural check and balance called carbon sinks. Oceans, plants, and the soil absorb carbon through physiochemical or biological processes, an example which is photosynthesis. And it is these processes that helps to remove the 750 gigatons of CO2 they produce. Our average output of 30 gigatons throws this carbon cycle off balance as it has to deal with more carbon dioxide than it can handle. These carbon dioxide pollutants wrap around the Earth, called the greenhouse effect, and takes in extra heat while some heat escapes back into the atmosphere. The heat that is trapped by the carbon dioxide gas returns back to Earth and causes a small increase in global temperature. The consequences of global temperature change would result in typhoons, droughts, and floods, also partially caused by thermal expansion. Thermal expansion happens when heat is received by individual water molecules, causing them to gain kinetic energy and move more vigorously. This results in the volume of the ocean expanding, thus causing floods. How are we then able to reduce these amounts of CO2 we produce each year? Reduction of CO2 can be done by reducing the amount of fossil fuels burnt and switching to green energy. So what can you do? A simple method is switching the light bulbs on your lamps from incandescent to fluorescent. When using the air conditioner, set it above 25 degrees Celsius. This saves the energy needed to cool your room. Or use cold or warm water instead of hot when washing. Together, we are able to reduce the amount of energy needed by 60%, thus reducing the amount of carbon dioxide emitted from producing energy. Earth would finally decrease in overall temperature, making the world much cooler and habitable. Through this, the Earth would be a much better home.